<laughs> What's the problem? I know you don't pick out crappy stuff, so this is gonna be good. <laughs> So the goal today is to start cleaning a lot of this up down here on the cabinets that we cut out last time. Uh, the big thing is we need to get it level with the floor so that way it um, makes it easier to start building out the kitchen and we need to be able to put in the shower pan. Everything has to be really cleaned up and level here and the way the cabinets had to come out, it they came out in pieces last time as you probably saw in the previous video. We got majority of this out. We're now even with the floor. Um, probably a little couple little spots here that are going to need ground down just to make it really nice and even the whole way across. Um, but as you can see, we have all of this one cabinet into the other. Let's, uh, let's grab the shower pan, see how that fits in here so we can get an idea of the layout. The shower pan we got is from United RV. This is a 24 by 32 shower pan with a center drain, uh, which should be nice. Um, it does come with foam bottom so it should be able to sit right on the floor that we're going to put in here. Since it is center drain we do plan on having a gray water tank sitting underneath it. Since the cabinets in the ambulance sit below the floor level we'll be able to fit the gray water tank underneath there and this will sit at floor level maybe slightly above. With the floor being level and everything we can actually test out the shower pan in the spot. Now keep in mind the area in here we're gonna have a floor that goes across here that's gonna be level with the ambulance floor. So the shower will be sitting on something level. But what we're looking at here is something about there. Um, hopefully being able to fit a gray water tank underneath it in that other space. And then over this way, um, the fridge should be able to fit in this area with the sink right above it. But it's nice being able to see things start to fit into place here now that we're cleaning up all the edges. color palette picked out. Yes! Yeah. So we have some options. Just got the Home Depot. Probably check out Lowe's too. This is not my expertise so Crystal is in charge of this part. This was the floor. I feel like the flooring really... Oh actually no. So we were thinking about having this as the cabinets on the lower portion or this one on the lower portion, right? You see how stark different that is? Like, I don't know that I dig that. So you found your color swatches. <laughs> I did. All right. Right here. All right, now we got to go match everything else to her color palette. <laughs> Let's see how this goes.
All right, well, we're back at it today. Yesterday we recorded a whole bunch of stuff that happened in the Ambo with the lights coming out, the crazy seat coming out, pulling out wiring, the front seat, and go figure, none of the audio worked on any of it. We're actually getting Crystal involved. She's gonna help pull down this ceiling, which she really doesn't wanna do, but we're gonna put her to work anyway. And we'll continue to keep ripping away. Are you ready to work today? <laughs> I got my gloves on. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> What's your job today? Taking the screws out of the roof. <laughs> Are you ready to play with all the mouse poop in the room? Oh my God, I'm not looking forward to that at all. I forgot my mask, yo. <laughs> While Crystal's in there working on the ceiling, I'm gonna work on taking the driver's seat out. Since we got the passenger seat out yesterday, we'll get this one out today. So two days in a row now, the GoPro has been jacked up. I just had a time lapse running for everything, and of course, it didn't work today either, along with the sound missing yesterday. So we'll be contacting GoPro and see if they wanna actually fix their equipment. But for now, the roof is down. We're gonna start pulling the foam. This sheeting has to finish coming off. And what some of the GoPro missed is both front seats are out now. Well, we are tearing down all the foam up here and finding remnants of the mice like this spot right here. There used to be a cover over this and it looks like he chewed through the foam. So there's probably a nice big nest up there just filled with all the rat goodies. <laughs> you make it sound like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well it was just snowing in here a minute ago because <laughs> he chewed all the white foam. Oh look, there it comes right there. <laughs> he chewed all the white foam <laughs> and we just get it to snow. <laughs> So it's Christmas and everybody gets rat crap for a present. Ew. Oh, there's coal, coal in your stocking. So on this channel, we're gonna show you the good sides and the bad sides. <coughs> I would call this a bad side. Let's, uh, let's see how much falls out of here. Oh God, oh God, please. Oh, it's that's not, not too bad. That's not bad. It all came out in one chunk. All right, that wasn't horrible. Yeah, thank goodness. That one wasn't as bad as some of the others. <laughs> Figures the one we go to get on video. <laughs> Crystal does not know that we got new seats for the ambulance. And this is probably the biggest thing that she has wanted since we started this whole thing. So, let me turn around here. They have arrived. They're here. And we're gonna set up the camera and have her come around and hopefully surprise her. Let's see what let's see what she thinks. So we got the Shieldman seats. These things are pretty freaking sweet. Let's see if we can surprise Crystal here. Let's see what she thinks. So what do you think of the new seats? I don't know. I haven't looked at them. <laughs> What's just, the problem? I know you don't pick out crappy stuff, so this is going to be good. <laughs> They're made in Germany. They've got 
want to be great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Processing. Yes. We're going to be comfortable. 